Hi, everyone. So today is the day for midterm two. But before that, I would briefly discuss the, what will be covered in midterm two. So first, the midterm two the, will be held the, between today and the Thursday. So you can spend any the 90 minutes in Canvas. So once you start the exam, then you have to finish within 90 minutes. And only one attempt is allowed because the Canvas only have this functionality. So the one, the time limit for one attempt. And the mostly the multiple choice exam, uh, the questions. So it's similar to midterm one, but a few question that asks you to enter the numbers. But the, these questions are relatively simpler in calculation. We have six large questions uh, um, within um, six questions that we have the 12 small questions. So it sounds there are a lot of questions, but actually the last question, the question six is relatively simpler because this is from the um, latest chapter, chapter 6.8. So even though we have the three questions, that these are very small questions. And question one to question five, the sum of them have two questions. Yeah, so this is an overview of the midterm two. So now the, I would like to discuss what contents will be covered in the exam. So yeah, so at least the um, I would like to discuss the most important concepts in chapter four to chapter six, eight. Okay, so chapter four or section four. So at first we studied off payments. So basically um, off payments is the case that the interest earning period and the payment period are different. And we have the two strategies. So one is the to use the payment frequency as the time unit to calculate everything. So this is usually the best way to calculate it. And the, but the second way is the use interest earning period as the time um, unit. So we need some trick. So for the case that we have less frequent payment than once a year, uh, interest earning period, that we have to use the ratio of the two annuities, annuity formulas. And the, on the other hand, if the payment frequency is higher than the interest earning period, then we have to use some technique by using the um, A triangle, uh, right triangle, uh, A um, right triangle N, the superscript M. Yeah, and also there's some other uh, important uh, concepts that such as uh, increasing and uh, decreasing annuities. So for example, if we have this kind of annuity, that we have a formula that to calculate the present value at once or accumulated value at once. And another uh, one is the annuity with the geometric progression. So the payment increases over time geometrically. So every time we multiply the sum number. So basically that we can use, um, we can adjust the, um, annual effective interest rate, and that we can um, utilize the usual annuity immediate or annuity due formula uh, to get the, this um, present value or accumulated value. Yeah, and the, uh, these are the most important parts. There we have some uh, a small example for uh, some specific annuity such as the case that the payment is symmetric around some um, time point. Okay, so this is the section four and the section five that we studied, the several concepts. And the first one is the net present value and internal rate of return. So net present value basically gives us the information on whether or not we should invest in the project. If net present value is positive, we should invest. And if negative, we should not invest. But it really depends on the interest rate we assume. So for example, if we have to borrow money to in invest in project and the interest rate is 5%, we have to use that 5% to evaluate the net present value. And the 
Next one is the internal rate of return. So this is basically the, uh, the same analysis, but in a different way. So given cash flow, the, we, we want to calculate the uh, break-even interest rate. So that is the internal rate of return. For example, so this project at time zero, you have to spend the $100 and time one, you get the $110. If the, you can borrow money at 10% or less, it's worthwhile to invest in this project. But if the um, interest is more than 10%, if you borrow the money with more than 10% interest, then it's not worth to invest in this project. So the interest internal rate of return is break even point. So the 10%, so that is the uh, interest uh, internal um, rate of return. And we also studied the reinvestment rates. So this is the when the some coupon or dividend is deposited into another account with different interest rate. And the third topic is the dollar and dollar weighted and the time weighted interest rate. So these are the different ways to calculate interest rate. So dollar weighted interest rate is investor specific interest rate. So some investor only invest in the money in the first six months of the year, but not the last six months of the year. So invest, investor specific return, that is the dollar weighted return. And the time weighted return is just a market return. It does not depend on how much you invest in the market at a specific time period. Yeah, so these are important points in section five. And section six, that we only studied the first section, amortizing a loan. So the important thing is to know the how interest portion and the principal portion of the repayment are related. Yeah, so in the next videos that we discuss the each uh, section.